Oh, he just went low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, He's open. His head wide open. Cracked open in the face. And welcome everybody, it's Fireman2100, we're back again with another first campaign impressions video, and it's back with Resident Evil 6. So, we, I only just beat Chris's campaign actually yesterday, so, uh, kind of recently new on, uh, on the front of that. So, we've beaten Leon's campaign not too long ago, a few months ago, uh, beaten Chris's campaign now. So now we're going to Jake, new character for this game. Okay, to normal. So we can either play as Jake or returning character from Resident Evil 2 as Sherry Birkin, who we can actually play as. We're actually going to play as Jake. Yes, I had a few people, like I've played it a few times, I had a few people go online with uh, um, weapons from later in the game in some of my early missions, when it comes to Leon's campaign especially. Not necessarily uh, Chris's. Sherry returns after a big long absence between Resident Evil 2 and this game. And she's grown up quite a bit. It's supposed to be some kind of energy booster, but I don't feel any different. You know, it's me and you. I think we should ask for more money. I think Jake, I think, is voiced by Troy Baker in this game, from memory. Did you take your dose? Yeah. If you want your own, you gotta sign with the lady downstairs. 
I forgot his last name, that's why I just mentioned it was just Jake. I noticed that Ada was in the background there. seem like an asshole in that moment, but, you know, he kind of points out, it's like, yeah, we've got zombies up top, so, kind of don't want to stay here that long. So, yeah, so that definitely sounded like Troy, Bur uh, Troy Baker, so yeah, so I think, yeah, I think Jake is voiced by Troy Baker in this game, which I mean makes sense, and, uh, Okay, so we got another person joining the battle as Sherry. So this could be a whole lot of fun, though I have friendly fire off, so anything that could go wrong. Sherry's definitely got an upgrade because she was avoiding people a lot in Resident Evil 2 and I mean to be fair, I think she was only like, like 10 I think maybe in that game. So it, yeah, it's been a long time since the Raccoon City incident, which yeah, in timeline it has. Oh my god, that guy died. Sherry, which again, game does that quite a lot when it comes to partner characters in this game in particular. I think it even did it a little bit of Resident Evil 5 as well, going back to that game, though I'm not 100% sure because I don't exactly remember, because I only played a little bit of Resident Evil 5, I didn't play a whole lot of it, so...
fifty million dollars. What? Cash. Non-negotiable. That'll get you one fight. <laughs> Okay, I kind of like him. He's a bit of an asshole, but I like it. Because <laughs> he's kind of joking in that regard, but... Looks like they're expecting us. We're going to have to shoot our way out. Agreed. We don't have a choice. So, you go and get that herb, and then almost fall off the fucking side. Yeah, so some of the some of the, some of the players that I play with have some of the better weapons, and and when you play when they play the, par the, the partner characters, they will have the better weapons. So I played as Leon and um, one of the other guys that I played with already had like fucking a sniper rifle, semi assault rifle already, and all that type of stuff. I'm like, oh okay, cool. Supposed to go down that side. Hey, look at that. Look at that shot. That was beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah, so I have all sorts of bonuses already, like concept art and stuff like that from shooting those emblems. Or, or stabbing it with your knife, because you do have a knife as well. Oh, so Jake does exclusively hand-to-hand -hand combat. What? Okay, bullshit. Though, when thinking about it, when we get to the re revelation later, um, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I'm not gonna mention it because uh, even though yes, this game's had been out for a while, people might still not know the little why. Uh, little sequence when it comes to Jake on why he can do flippy dippy crap and all that type of stuff. What? I didn't even touch the edge. I didn't even touch the edge. I was, but you, you see that I was like right in the middle, right? That's where that leads up, yeah. Tank parked on the other side of the river. The only way the BSAA are leaving that bridge again when the body dies. Baton. I'm not sure if that's exactly actually what they call it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's that type of thing. jump to the fucking helicopter now and fucking take it down. Oh, they 
Thank you, RPG. Lucky I wasn't on that, <laughs> considering. Which are actually pretty useful. Uh, I wouldn't say that the most useful thing, but in between uh, chapters, it's good to have a whole lot of uh, skill points. Just cause. Yeah. Okay. I'm coming. I, I didn't know how far back you had all your supplies, man. I gotta remember I had to go on the outside, not the inside. Inside you look like you had a better run anyway. the thing in the world. <laughs> I ain't no Sonic the Hedgehog, man. <laughs> or Flash. DC Universe. Don't shoot the arm, the arm's metal, man. Shoot the organic parts. So it's funny how, like, all these zombies actually have names. Oh wait, I remember this guy, yeah, he was in, uh, fucking Leon's campaign. Yes, suplex. Uh, we're getting fucking Resident Evil 4 type fucking uh, Leon back for this. That's fucking fantastic. I'm happy about that because goddamn. It's one thing I did like about re seeing like Resident Evil 4 in action. Fucking Leon fucking suplexing a goddamn. Oh, okay, there's a whole bunch of boxes and stuff in here. Cool. So I want to miss the herb.
Yeah. So this person's definitely played this game before. That's one thing that I will say about uh, some of the people that play this game is that sometimes it's very Look, strange. To we can get out there. I have a feeling that guy's coming. This looks in. like it's gonna collapse too. Somebody ought to call the building inspector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, uh, Troy Baker's playbook, man. Ooh, remote bombs are back. Jake. That's something that I did with uh, Leon that I had a heap of, and uh, yeah. Damn it! He found us. Shit! These assholes have anything better to do? <laughs> I seen that red barrel. I'm like, I know exactly what to do with that. <laughs> I feel like this guy would come in here. We'll just have to get over it then, huh? At least the building crumbles. That at least makes fucking some sort of sense.
Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sherry got it first. I was going to shoot it, but Sherry, but the, the person playing Sherry got it first. I was like, yep, yeah, that, uh, that seems about right. Mercenary. He's just making the joke. What? Nothing. HQ to Alpha Team. Reinforcements are unable to land. Go ahead on aircraft artillery. Take them out. Alpha Team, copy. We're picking up a large bogey on radar. It's heading right for you. Chris, I know to God I don't have to find this big chick. Oh, here we go again. Those three of the aircraft turrets are holding us at bay. Roger that, Echo. We'll take care of them for you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it had to. This was a mission, I think, in mission number, I think it was chapter number two, maybe chapter number three of, uh, uh Chris's story, but it was a flashback sequence, so now we're canonically getting it in the right spot when it comes to, uh, Jake's story. But what am I getting 
shot at by. Oh, it's and phase him through the box. So he kind of didn't go through the box. He kind of went outside of it. Actually, did we play this mission on video? I have a feeling we did it in Chris's story as well. It just feels like it, but then it's one of those missions that is like the crossover. So when it comes to herbs, uh, combining the green with the red uh, gives you more um, more options to heal. Like, like it gives you more uh, uses for for healing. Because if you only do green to green herbs, you only get like three. Three little doses that you can use. Everyone get back. Whereas the one we lost to our hearts. Alpha, prepare to engage. Um. If you use the red herb, you get six, so you actually get double. Uh, do I go? Wait. Oh, okay, there's a ladder here. I was like, how the hell did Sherry get up there? <laughs> I thought there was a gun there. Oh, quick time event.
Because I was going to say, do I go down this section? Because I mean, this is technically Chris's, so I wouldn't be surprised if I wasn't supposed to down here. better. Uh, at least having a red herb here means that there should be a green herb somewhere. See ya. Yeah. 
Alright, I reckon I'm gonna leave it there. Because there's gonna be a whole lot of stuff happening here, I'm sure. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this. First, <laughs> first campaign impressions video of Resident Evil 6 uh, by Jake's story on the Sony PlayStation 4. This has been My Man 2100. You guys have a great day or night, and of course, take care.